and you are going to show us a shoulder with, I believe, a rotator cuff tear. Tell us what we're seeing and uh, what the symptoms are and why this happens in baseball players for that matter. Certainly. So if you look at this picture here, this is a, sh a shoulder. Like I, I, I'll keep saying this over and over. You know, here's your golf ball. Your tee's hidden by the muscles here because the muscles actually hold it all together. So this is the muscle in the front. This is called your subscap. The one on the top is called your supraspinatus. Um, I think what they're trying to do here is that this is this is very dramatic. So you typically don't have a huge full thickness rotator cuff tear in a, in a throwing athlete because that's usually the end of your career. Um, but you can see here, these are the little bursts that sit in there, and these can get inflamed when you have tears. Typically, a tear that you get as a, as a throwing athlete or a baseball player or a tennis or a tennis athlete, like Dr. Uh, Selznick was talking about, is you get uh, tearing on the undersurface of the rotator cuff. So underneath here, what happens is every time you go back like this, it kind of pinches. So it, the, the shoulder kind of pinches against the labrum here in the back, and you get kind of wear on the undersurface here. Is that a slap tear, doctor? Uh, you can't see you can't see the labrum here on the inside. I think this is a representation of a rotator cuff tear. The slap tear should be deep.